Okay. In the Poology book, there is one little section, just a few pages, on banking. It's not a master banking class. I'm not a master banker. But, the book is geared for aiming, and you can actually use the aiming system to help with bank shop. Um, the fundamentals are basic, basic fundamentals that everyone should know about banking. Little things like if we've got a ball sitting here. I find the line to bank the ball the easiest way instead of doing all of this X's and marks and finding the, the midpoint and marking it and then get over here and looking at it. So much easier just to stand behind one of these short rail banks like this. You stand behind the ball, you take this rail and find a distance over here. You can call them 10, 20, and 30 is the easiest way to do it. And then find half of that distance here directly over the center of the ball you're trying to bank. Like this is a 25, that's an 11, it's not it. Here's a 24 and a 12. 12 is half of 24, so that is the spot. If I shoot into that piece of chalk, I'm going to hit the pocket. So if I were straight in with that piece of chalk, just like that, and just gave this ball a good medium stroke, right there, just like this, I should make it. On a diamond table, out of that, that speed, that stroke, I'd have put a little outside spin, just a half a tip or so. Because on a diamond, I have a tendency to hit them short. I don't know if it's the table or me, but that's what I have to do. So I'm going to set it right back up in the same place again. Right in there. Set it right back up. So that's, that's the dead bank spot. We just showed that. Now, if I wanted to shoot it firm, it's going to, like the book says, it, this eight ball is going to push into the rail, and it's going to absorb a lot of the energy, and then on its way back out, the rail's going to spit it out a little short. It's going to catch in right here. That's going to look like this. You just slam the dead bank without thinking about the action coming off that rail. You get that. Well, the fix for that it's just a little bit of English or overcut the ball a tiny bit well, that's that's a little more guesswork it's much easier just to add a half a tip of left hand spin like outside if I set this same dead bank up like this now I'm just going to add a touch of left hand English it goes right in the hole so that's it could be top left, bottom left. I just use straight left right there. It could be any way you want to do it. As long as you offset. Because what's happening when the ball comes firing in here like this and catches this, at this angle, it's really not going to make the difference. Let's set up. Let's set up a shot. I'll show you what. Collision induced throw. That doesn't happen when you're straight in like this. The outside spin when you're straight in on the bank is. is offsetting this little action that's going to happen when this ball buries into that cushion. But if I were over here like this, now I'm cutting into this, I'm cutting across the face of the ball. It's going to want this eight to spin that way, which is in the opposite direction we need it to go when it hits this rail. It's going to want to do that. Not so extreme, it's going to end up hitting about here. It really shortens the shot up. We don't want to do that. Set it back up there. So when we come across the face of the ball, we want this cue ball with outside spin to offset any collision-induced friction that happens right here, the throw. So when it hits the rail, it will want to come off at a decent angle. We're not going to slam it because the outside spin we're putting on it is going to offset the action that happens here. We'd have to really have a lot on it to help it offset the action it's going to get if we slam it into that cushion. But just a good medium speed into the cushion will make the ball. Now, all of that's just common bank knowledge. This is where poology comes in. We can treat this like a, like a zone B cut shot. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. If we have the same shot sitting here, the same shot sitting right here like this.
That is exactly the same shot we're getting ready to shoot. Pretend this isn't here. All we're going to do is cut this ball to that pocket. That's our bank shot. The system is having you geared to a spot that's right there. It happens to be there this time. So all we're really going to do is pretend that this is a zone B cut shot right here, just like this. So we're going to move our end rail up to here. That's going to be our new end rail. These are gone. So now we've got a simple little cut shot. We're just going to back cut this ball into that piece of chalk with some outside spin to reduce any of the throw. If it were a pocket, it wouldn't matter. The little bit of throw is going to throw it into here, and we wouldn't care about the action coming off the cushion. The ball is going to drop into the pocket. Since we're hitting a cushion, we need outside spin on this ball to help this one spin the right direction. So we get our position values just like this was a zone B shot. This is our end rail. There's our position values. We get them from the diamonds down here. I can get back here and see. Now we're calling this zero. Not the diamond, but a value of about 12. We're calling that zero. So if I go up to here, that's a, that's a half ball shot. That's half of my position value. So a half ball will send me right into there. So I'm going to hit the half ball. I'm going to shoot it with some top left hand spin. I mean, right at the half ball lane, then applying some top left hand spin and just stroking through the ball. Now, without the without that left hand spin on there, I'll show you what it would have looked like. Set the same shot up. Without putting the left hand spin on this half ball shot, it's going to hit here. If I just shoot it straight at the half ball, it's going to throw it about two degrees. That's going to end up hitting there. And it's going to have some a little bit of a collision-induced backspin on it or inside spin. It's probably going to hit about, probably going to go right into that eight ball. That's how far off we might miss it. Let's see. I'm just going to shoot straight to half ball, rolling through it, no spin. Even more than I thought. It's quite a bit. So you have to realize the effects of the friction between the two balls when they hit. That's how you can use the system. You, you just slide the end rail up, 